everybody good morning today is such a cold day it's been raining for a lot of days so for today's activity we are going to create a rainy day okay remember we are in the tropical uh, weather and it rains a lot okay and October and November are the rainiest months of the whole year okay so for this activity you are going to need some materials you're going to need glue you're going to need cotton okay you're going to need a white piece of cardboard okay it can be any cardboard that you have at home okay as long as it's sturdy and it holds the glue and you're going to need your watercolors okay so get these materials ready and let's start the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the glue and I'm going to make little cotton balls like this. Okay? You're going to make little small cotton balls about this big and you're going to start pasting them on the top of your paper. Okay? My glue is a little <laughs> dry. I haven't used it in a while so I'm going to take that top off. Okay? And I'm going to start putting little uh, dots of glue, okay? You're going to make the ball with your hands, and you're going to attach the balls, the cotton balls, okay? These are going to be our clouds, okay? We're going to put as many as we want, okay? There's no limit to as many, um, as how many uh, cotton balls you have to put, okay? Teach your paws is going to put at about hmm, six or seven cotton balls, okay? I'm going to make my balls like this, okay, I'm going to press like that, I'm going to make some big, you can make other ones a little bit smaller, that's up to you and your creativity, okay? I'm going to make another one over here, put it at the top, okay? We're gonna let this dry when we're finished um, putting all the cotton balls, and then we're gonna use our paint, okay? I'm gonna make the last two cotton balls that I have here. I'm gonna make, and you're gonna let it dry, okay? We're gonna give it a couple of minutes, okay? And then we're gonna start using our paint to make the rain, okay? So, let's let it dry and in a couple of minutes we'll come back and keep working. Okay guys, now that my cotton balls are already dry and stuck to my paper, I'm gonna take my watercolors. Remember, watercolors are sleeping, okay? They're sleeping, we have to use water and a paintbrush to wake them up. Okay, so I'm gonna put a lot of water, okay? I'm gonna use a little part over here of my palette. I'm gonna add watercolor and I'm gonna add many, many drops of water, okay? You're gonna put color and you're gonna add water like this, okay? I'm gonna add more and many, 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 many drops. Okay. So what you're gonna do, after you have a lot of watery color, a watery color over here in your palette, okay, you're gonna do this, and it's so much fun, okay? You're gonna take your paintbrush, you're gonna take your paper, and you're gonna tilt it, okay? Just a little bit. And you're gonna put drops, you're gonna watch the water go down, just like real rain, okay? We're gonna add, if, if it's not falling down, you can add more water over here. Turn it like this. Put more water over here, it's not falling, you see? And I can use many different colors to make this, okay? I can use a light blue, I can use a darker blue, like here, okay, I'm going to put more water, and you see, the rain is falling from the clouds, okay, 
you can even put three drops to each of your clouds, okay? And see what happens. <gasps> okay, now I'm gonna use purple. All these colors are called the cool colors. Purple, blue, light blue, okay? These are the colors of the rainy season, okay? And since we live in Costa Rica, and it rains a lot, okay? We have rain almost all year long. Okay, we're gonna make those drops fall down into our paper. And it's super fun. Okay, you can put many drops. Fill your whole paper with rain. And watch it go down, okay? I'm gonna put more over here on this side under my other cloud. I'm gonna add more water and more drops. You see? Oh, it's falling. Okay, let's add a little bit of purple on this side because we don't have that much purple. Okay, and I can add more water and make it look super fun and colorful, okay? Let's put some over here on the flat on the top. Let's add more water. Let's see what happens, okay? Fill your paper with colors, okay? Make it look beautiful. We're in the rainy season, remember? And it's, oh, it's raining every day, okay? But that's also beautiful. Rain and sunshine, okay? We have to feel very happy that we live in a country where it rains and where we can have um, these nice cold days too, okay? Some countries get snow, but we get rain. So, let's feel happy about that. Okay, you can even mix colors there. Okay, mix blue with the purple and see where it takes you, okay? See what happens if you add more water and if you mix colors one with the other. Okay, remember, we are only using cool colors, okay? The cool colors make us feel cold, okay? Like a rainy day or the rainy season, okay? more and more and more, okay? See what happens to your paper and to your clouds, okay? This is like an experiment too, okay? For more and more and more. I'm gonna put a little bit more over here and make my clouds look beautiful, okay? Try to be creative and put as many cool colors as you want and make your rainy day look special and expressive, okay? As a final detail, I have a toothbrush, okay? So you can damp your toothbrush a little bit. You can put it on your um, watercolors like this, okay? And with your fingers, you can sprinkle it. Okay, and you can add more texture and more fun to your painting, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit more of purple and see what happens. Ah. Okay, let's make it as wet as we can, just like a rainy day, okay? So once you're finished and you have your rainy day, you can hang it up and show everyone in your house how a rainy day looks, okay? How the clouds look when it's raining everywhere, okay? I hope that you liked today's project and that you had fun, okay? And we'll see what we are gonna do next week, okay? Take care and bye-bye.